way out in the country right now. The car caught on fire. And this uh, nice farmer let me put my stuff in his yard and uh, drove me from the front of his house uh, back to the B&B. And he didn't hesitate to help me. And all of my stuff is in his barnyard. It's great. <laughs> this is the, the beauty of the French countryside. It's now nighttime and a service truck is just coming to take this car away that uh, caught on fire. And I don't know when I will receive another car. I'm running late this morning, packing. I'm getting ready to drive about two hours to a photo shoot. We just met with the village mayor, who is now um, ahead driving us to the location of this old church, where we'll find drawings of the uh, of French World War One soldiers on the way to the front. It looks like this is the church. This is uh, our team this morning. Wait. Uh, <laughs> So uh, on a rainy day at Lupi Le Chateau and we're going to do some photographs inside the church to uh, reveal uh, uh, writings by World War I soldiers in a, a church, a chapel that uh, has been here since 1385. This is uh, at the right of the door. This inscription is hard to see but it's uh, a soldier that apparently is celebrating the fact that he's alive. He's saying uh, that he's on the way to Verdun, um, that he had been here before. Well, we're, we're having dinner. This is uh, the beauty of being with friends in France and enjoying uh, the camaraderie and a great meal and great wine. This is the, the family Montfroy. Don't say cheese, say raclette. Say raclette. Okay, and raclette is, what is raclette? It's a. Oh, okay, that's right. Yes, from, from the Alps. Bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit.